Welcome to the Sports Scouting Report Podcast with Lee Brickeen. Hi, everyone. This is Lee Brickeen. I'm uh, going to have a great practice report today, August 23rd. The time is 6.20 p.m. Went to LSU's practice, which is Tuesday. You're going to get the report. I'm going to try and do this in six or seven minutes, even uh, shorter than that, but no breaks. Uh, I do want to thank a couple of sponsors. This is an extra, you know, podcast that we do. It's a quick practice LSU report. I want to thank Treads and Care in Central on Hooper Road and Park Place Drive and also Medine's Collision Center in Baton Rouge. Uh, look, we the media only could stay 30 minutes today. We were scheduled for two hours, not complaining. You can tell it's getting close to the season. Uh, just a rundown. It'll be similar uh, to some other people's, but I was I found some stuff today. You can always find things to share with the public by going to a practice, even in drill work. So we only got to stay 30 minutes. You got to see drill work. The defense only. The offense was indoors with the door basically kind of closed, so we didn't get a chance to see the offense. That's good. I'm sure they're working on plays they don't want the public to see. But let's go ahead and get to it for defense, what I saw today at LSU practice on August 23rd in the rain. It was kind of a, a slight sprinkle uh, outside. They were on the turf field. Had a chance to, to watch the defensive backs very, very thoroughly. And even though there was no hitting going on, it was just drill work, I really, really saw something that I didn't catch in the early practices, and that was – the best cornerback on this team for the deep ball, defending the deep ball, is Jarek Bernard, the transfer from Oklahoma State. He prepped at Evangel Christian in Shreveport. I really love this drill. Just to explain it to the listeners, it's a man coverage drill. And that's when the DB is up on the receiver, and then the, 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 the receiver stops running. The DB runs it out and tries to catch the ball that's thrown really high in the air toward the sideline. Only one DB could do man coverage, continue to run, and intercept the ball just about every time, and that was Jarek Bernard. And it was impressive watching his makeup speed, meaning if a receiver got past him, he could catch up. He reminds me a lot of uh, Greedy Williams, and a little bit of Stingley, the way he can, you can beat him the first step or two, and then he can catch up and intercept. He's got great makeup speed. I don't know what Bernard will do as, uh, in run support, but, man, this kid can really cover straight down the field. He's impressive. He's a, he's a diamond in the rough, great transfer from Oklahoma State. He's a red shirt, senior, graduate transfer. And Jarek, for a guy 6'2", about 205, he looks about 180. He's put together. But just, again, considering the ball is thrown deep a lot in the SEC, I think this kid's going to defend a lot of long balls. Just something I noticed. You know, not many people can run like him and keep up with receivers. Another thing I noticed today was the starting lineup. Uh, basically, they went with the ones, the twos, and threes breaking the huddle. And it was uh, consisted of Jacqueline Roy, number 99, Jarek Bernard, Greg Brooks, strong safety, corner. Um, Colby Richardson's running with the ones. Transfer from McNeese, number 22. Number six, Mike Jones, linebacker. He's a really heady guy. Number 11, Ollie Gay, defensive end. Number eight, Mason Smith. Number five, Jay Ward. Number 30, Greg Penn, linebacker. And finally, number 18, B.J. Olguerrera, who's, uh, who's going to probably be an All-American this year, uh, wearing the famous number 18. But there was, those were the guys starting. The number twos look really good, by the way. Uh, having the, the, the second unit, the second unit looks better than LSU's first unit last year. That's what I see. That's why I'm excited about this team. Defense wins ball games. Offense sells tickets. Another thing I noticed was even though we were watching drill work and, and it was raining and we only got to see the defense outside, 
I saw Coach Kelly. I was just noticing this. I don't know how many people did. But I noticed that he was outside watching the defense most of the first 20 minutes of practice. Now, take it, he's an offensive guy. And I'm used to seeing head coaches, wherever their strength is, they just watch one side of the ball. That really impressed me, that Coach Kelly was outside watching the corners and safeties and not indoors watching the offense. Really something I want to point out, just something I noticed, not something I noticed with Orgeron, Miles, or Hallman, even Saban. Saban was mostly with the defense. This man's attention to detail. Another thing I noticed is, and a lot of people probably have commented on it, is Major Burns at free safety has changed his body. He's also changed his body language to where he looks like he knows coverages. He's calling out where the guys need to line up. And he looks like a guy that belongs now at safety. You know, the transfer from Georgia, prepped at Madison Prep High School. He's finally filled out. And look, we haven't seen him hit this year. But it's at least good enough to see that he's put on a lot of muscle and he's got that confidence, that swag. Really, really was impressed on the second unit. LSU's got one of the best number, the best third corner in America is Mikey Garner. This guy looks like an all-American linebacker playing corner. I mean, Mikey's 6'2", 218, and runs a 4'4" and he's playing corner. He looks like a safety, but he runs like a corner, and he plays corner. I'm wondering if the the coaches will try him at safety at some point if there's an injury. Something to keep notice on to make a note. He might be a free safety in the NFL. He looks like he looks like those big free safeties you see in the NFL that are 6'3", 6'2", 220, 225. But he's the third corner right now on the defense and actually It looks like he'll play a lot, obviously. Mason Smith and Ollie Gay, physically, no one looks better than those two guys in the United States in college football. Mason Smith has really worked hard. That is one chiseled young man, and so is Ollie Gay. And then, like I said, Mikey Garner, if you were doing a physique Top three, those are the top three on the team on the defensive side of the ball. And Greg Penn is looking really good. He's in the starting lineup. Number 30, linebacker from Maryland. So a lot of good stuff. You can always find something, even if it's drill work at an LSU practice, if you just watch. I hope you enjoyed the report on August 23rd. Um, and uh, we'll look to give more reports in the future. And uh, really want to go ahead b- before in the show and thank Coach Kelly for allowing us to go out to practice with only a week left before the kickoff of the season. I really appreciate it. Even though it wasn't two hours, I really appreciate Michael Bonnet, the SID, and Coach Kelly allowing us to go to practice. We will see you very soon. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the Sports Scouting Report podcast with Lee Brookings.